Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we want to talk about once again a strategy guide. We want to talk about Queen Charge Hybrid. But there's going to be a small twist to the strategy which you, like all of you guys should know, Queen Charge Hybrid, right? Like the Hawk Riders, the Miners and everything combined with the Queen Charge is crazy strong right now. Might be one of the strongest if not the strongest army in the game right now. But there's always an issue in Legend League with this strategy. Sometimes you need the Hawk Riders in the clan castle, sometimes a Yeti Blimp is better. Today we have the solution. We saw this one the first time with the alternate guys, so shout out to them. And I tried this on my own a little bit as well. And what makes this kind of unique, this uh, 6 Hawk Riders and 5 Super Goblins, is that you can now counter those, those annoying trophy bases where you want to have the Siege Barracks, because the Siege Barracks is overall stronger in my opinion, like Queen Charge Hybrid with uh, the Siegeberg is stronger in Legend League as well. But the only downside of this is if you're running into ring bases, then you're basically doomed. Like you have no pathing into the town hall, you have the Siege Barracks with Hawk Riders, which means the Hawk Riders have no chance to get the town hall on its own. So now you have the new thing, which is going to be the Super Goblins. The Super Goblins will always get the town hall down which is a huge game changer and makes this strategy even stronger. And I will show you guys a couple of things today about the about the strategy and let's get started. But before we're doing that, if you guys want to support me or any content creator, you can find the creator boost code in settings, more settings. And then when you want to support me, type in it's over there. Small, big letters do not matter. Thank you guys so much for typing that in and whenever you're buying, for example, in like two days, the new Go Pass is coming out. If you want to buy that, make sure to use the creator code to support your favorite creator. Like I said, my credit code is ITSU. Thank you guys so much. So let's get started with the first attack. So like I said, we have two main options with our uh, clan castle, which means either the blimp or the um, the siege barracks. One of those, so we, sh we should use one of those. So. On this base, what I like to do is I want I like to queen charge from the top side to either the right or the left side, take out the top infern tower and the air defense with our um, clan castle, which is possible. Like within uh, with this clan castle, it's possible with an um, with the yeti blimp, whatever. The only problem which I did, well, I guess I'll leak the next queen skin because as you guys can see. This is definitely not the queen which I just dropped. So, well, let's see if we can adapt this. Like the opener, except placing the king instead of the queen, it went pretty good. Like so far everything went perfect. So let's just keep going, keep going. Let's try to save this. Um, so what we're doing now is normally the queen walk is taking all of this out. So what we're doing now instead we're using the wall breakers. You want to have a deep rage because you want to have the double layer. That's kind of crucial on this part because otherwise you do not have access to the town hall. Your queen is supposed to take out the town hall. Now we're sending in the um, the healers because the queen took a bit of damage. And to be honest, we are lucky. Yes, we are a little bit lucky that the healers are not switching to the king. Um, that is kind of crucial at this point. Uh, but still, we're still we're still missing a king basically like we have not we have nothing to funnel our miners later on like our hybrids so let's keep trying let's keep seeing if we can somehow save this so now we're taking out the enemy um enemy town hall and now we're getting started with the hybrid placing the hawk riders the siege and um, the the royal champion everything in behind and now the queen is doing her thing using her ability and now the freaking sweeper is pushing the healers away and I didn't saw that too early, um, so I had to use the rage. And to be honest, this was a huge mess. Like this rage on my Hawk Riders right now would have been crazy nice because it would have taken out everything so fast. The healers, meanwhile, are doing a good job. Like, don't get me wrong, the healer switch was not a bad thing, to be honest. The only bad thing is that I didn't spot it earlier and I used the rage on the queen, which I should have not placed. Like, this should have never happened. Um, with my rage on the Hawk Riders, this would have been a way faster attack because now we have the big issue um, which was kind of obvious to come because we have not the king on the outside which is pushing all of our hybrid troops into, into the core. This attack on this base normally always gets 3 stars. But for us, this is getting super close. Like we have the 
outside troll tesla as well our royal champion is getting lower and lower trying his best or her best to survive everything over here nothing in the corners anymore which means only the tesla on the left side are still standing and now the big problem is coming that the royal champion as we guys as we know it she's only targeting defenses which messes up this attack completely if she would have stayed on the right side this would have been still triple but this means this is going to be a time fail and i think it's not too bad to be honest like considering how bad we messed up and placing the king instead of the queen this was pretty good safe but now let's get started and see if we can catch some triples and even if we're not getting any of the ring bases um this, the highlight of this video is supposed to be the flexibility of this clan castle you don't have to worry about anymore like oh my god do i need the yetis do i need the hawk riders what should i do can I go for the town hall? What is my goal over here? You always have not the perfect, but the best possible clan castle in this scenario. Like, as, like we're doing over here. On this one, we do not want to have the town hall down. We want to have the um, town hall getting charged by our queen. And the next step is to use the siege barracks. Because we're using the siege barracks, it's kind of simple that hawk riders are way, 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 way... I can keep going like way 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 better than the um yetis which we normally have in there so we want to have those hawk riders in there and we will switch any second to the siege barracks we want to take out the clan castle obviously first and then we can get started with the hybrid that's like kind of like the goal which we're having right now queen is doing her thing over here we do not need a rage in the beginning i would drop a rage now because the queen is like getting into the danger zone basically I thought she would go to the bottom, now she's going to the top, which isn't too bad either, to be honest. Poison over here, freezing the enemy in uh, Infern Tower, now we're getting started with our king, with our siege barracks. This is something which you always keep in mind, always save your freaking, or like, get your freaking siege barracks, uh, siege barracks <laughs> with you, so you can switch in between of your, those uh, siege machines, that's super important. So, the next thing is that my queen is going to the bottom now. Uh, and she's going to die basically because well we don't have any freezes we don't have her ability left anymore but this is no problem because once again we have the big funnel at the top side with the king and the siege barracks and now we have our troops going through the core with the rage over there last siege spell on the enemy queen because the miners will group up around the enemy queen because she's attacking them and now everything is looking really good we have on the outside the hawk riders which like i said um are doing a really nice job over there and we had the super goblins triggering a couple of traps. And now with the yetis, hawk riders over here are way more valuable. Um, now we have the royal champion coming in as well. Royal champion with the healers, with the royal champion, and uh, with the warden. <laughs> um, taking out those defenses easily. And now on the right side, we should have the, the wizards alive. Trying to get rid um, of all of those trash buildings to make sure. But this is once again getting really close on time. Like we have around 32 seconds left. And this is going to be once again a super close attack. So the Warden is deciding to not attack the, the Infern Tower because this would have been way too easy. Instead, he's going for the Miners, which is, it's understandable. Like, that's how the game works. Like, it's it's nice that he's doing what he's supposed to do. Um, Now the Warden is helping. Now, the, wait, what? No. Warden is, what is the Warden doing? Is he like doing a sightseeing tour or something like that? Going to the Infern Tower, watching around doing nothing like what what why <laughs> why did the one do that but either way this was a three star for us so nice recovery so let's see on how the next attack will wrap up and let's see if we can finally meet a ring base but guys either way like you guys know how to attack ring bases right like you know how to attack the yeti blimp and this is no different than like no different to to the to the clan cast which we are using right now the arc riders in combination with the goblins will take out any clan cast, any town hall. And on this base, I actually completely <laughs> messed up the scouting because normally the town hall and the clan, clan castle are switched, which means the town hall's on the outside and the clan castle on the inside. So what I thought, because like this is a kind of popular base and we faced this already many times in war, and normally like when this is normally switched, you can easily triple it with the approach which I'm doing right now. Um, so let's see if we can still triple it somehow because I did not see in the beginning that those buildings are switched. Which means as soon as I placed my queen and I double checked everything, I was like, oh crap. 
<laughs> okay, so let's try to recover. So what I'm like, what is the goal over here, and what am I like? What do I do over here? Um, next thing, what we're doing over here is um, obviously a couple of cocoons. That's what we what we're always doing, and because we have the flexibility of using our siege barracks and sometimes the blimp, and both of the times it's useful. Uh, what we're doing over here is we're just using the king for the queen funnel and having the siege barracks for later on for our hybrid funnel part kinda. So what is going wrong over here is once again the sweeper messing me up. Like we had this already in the first attack where the sweeper pushed the healers away from the queen um, and we had this over here as well because with my queen not having any healers anymore she's uh, supposed to die kinda quickly. So what are we doing over here? We're trying to save this attack and what we're doing over here is we're trying to get into the town hall ASAP. Like this is kind of the main goal. And we do not want to go into the enemy heroes early because that's kind of annoying. Everything is grouping up. Those splash damage buildings like Eagle and everything can deal tons of damage. So this is why we're getting over here. Early heals for the scatter shot. Early freeze as well because I'm scared as hell from this uh, scatter shot. And now the Hawk Riders and the Goblins on the outside are coming in really clutch because they clear out the entire trash on the outside which first off is nice cleanup and second of all is nice pathing creation for our hybrid troops and now the last rage because we did not really use too many rages for our queen shot right like only one rage which, me which means we have tons of splits for the back end the warden and the miners are doing a great job of killing those uh, those heroes on the back end meanwhile the royal champion is doing his best to carry and now a couple of war breakers just to tank some defenses overall um, and now the royal champion ability and somehow i once again don't know but this is going to be a three star we have like around 40 seconds left and like this is going to be easy three star so i hope i was able to show you guys the flexibility of this army or like especially of the siege uh, machine it's crazy it's crazy try it out on your own um in in legend league i think it's more like a legend league thing because in the clan war you you know what clan castle you need to go for so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i will see you guys and i will see you guys back tomorrow for another one see ya until then and bye bye